Good morning, Long Beach High School. Today is Wednesday, March 27th, and this is your LBTV. Mrs. Brown needs all of the MSU Junior Master Wellness Volunteers from first semester to meet with her to discuss community service opportunities with the STEP Challenge and Community Health Fair. Please stop by to see her when we get back from spring break, either before or after school on Monday, April 8th or Tuesday, April 9th. Also when we get back from spring break, don't forget the dance tryouts. Dance clinic will be after school Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, with tryouts on Friday, April 12th. You must scan the QR code and fill out the application for further information. If you have any questions, email Ms. Rigby at leslie.rigby at lbsdk12.com. The CB Memorial Scholarship Association is giving out scholarships to students who are children, stepchildren, or grandchildren of any officer or enlisted member who is serving or has served at the CBs. Scholarship selections are based on leadership, good citizenship, character, financial need, and scholastic record. For more information or to apply, please visit this website. This past Monday, the Bearcat Buddies held a special Easter egg hunt for the self-contained classes. We asked Ms. LeBlanc, who led the event, some questions regarding it. If you don't know what they are, the Bearcat Buddies are a group of special needs students who participate in events in order to harbor inclusiveness and get them out of the classroom. Ms. LeBlanc and a group of volunteers provide opportunities to disabled students and help them interact with their non-disabled peers in an effort to remove the stigma associated with them. These volunteers also bring in the resources necessary to make these events happen. Ms. LeBlanc experienced firsthand how disabled students are treated outside of their classrooms, and it inspired her to begin a lifelong journey of expanding inclusiveness for these students. She started organizations that aim to host events, which gains lots of followers and raised a lot of money. Here's what some students who participated in the event had to say about the Easter egg hunt. First off, what were some of the events that happened during the hunt? Okay, well, we had a few events. We had, we decorated bags, they dyed Easter eggs, like real hard-boiled eggs. They had an Easter egg hunt with plastic eggs, and they had a party. Okay, and what were your guys' jobs during the hunt? Like, did you guys have assigned roles to participate? I helped with uh, dyeing the eggs and stuff like that. And I helped with uh, the bag decorating until we had seen all of the, all of the groups, and then I went to the party. Okay, and generally, did you guys enjoy it? Was it a fun experience, and did, do you think it was beneficial? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Today, we're here with Damien, who participated in the Easter egg hunt. So first off, do you want to tell us your favorite part? Yeah. You had a party? Yeah. And there was lots of food? Yeah, there was a lot of food, yeah. All right, and did you have fun at it? Oh, yeah. And we're also going to be hosting a Halloween trick-or-treat event later this year. Are you excited for that? Oh, yeah. All right. Bearcat Buddies are always accepting of donations and volunteers, so feel free to contact Ms. LeBlanc if you're interested in joining. And as a note, you can sign up to volunteer at Camp Awesome with the QR code on screen. For more than 20 years, Dr. Christopher Frigo and his team at Frigo Orthodontics have provided the latest and greatest technology in orthodontic treatment and technology in a warm and welcoming environment. And since 1999, Frigo Orthodontics has helped students by giving out over $200,000 through their annual Frigo Orthodontics Scholarship. To qualify for this year's $1,000 scholarship, you must be a current or former patient of Dr. Frigo, a graduating senior with a GPA of 2.5 or higher, and a history of community outreach. For more information and to apply, see Ms. Tucker in the Career Center or visit www.frigoortho.com. Your family at Frigo Orthodontics wishes you the best of luck as you pursue this next journey through college as you strive to be all that God created you to be and be the best version of yourself. MGCCC is here today in the Career Center right now to meet with students who have been accepted into MGCCC. If you're a registered MGCCC student starting next year, go now or get your free t-shirt. If you have not been accepted into MGCCC but you wish to, then meet with enrollment specialist Jeannie Lansford in the cafeteria today during lunch. She will be speaking with students interested in attending MGCCC about the application process, financial aid, scholarships, housing, deadlines, and other important information. If you're a freshman or sophomore and you think you're interested in MGCCC, you're invited to attend the Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College's HC Current 
Concurrent Enrollment Interest Night after school on Thursday, April 11th at the Harrison County campus of MGCCC. At the event, you will hear about the options available for students to earn college credits while in high school. This includes dual credit, where you take college classes at the high school, dual enrollment, where you take classes at MGCCC while still in high school, and collegiate academy classes, where you can earn your associate's degree during your junior and senior years at high school. While none of these options are available until your junior year, it's never too early to start exploring options for the future. Please check your email from Mrs. Bishop for more details. Is reading the board sometimes difficult? Are you having trouble seeing things that used to be crystal clear? If you are one of the approximately two million students in the United States who need glasses but can't afford them, then VSP might be able to help. If your family is at 200% or less of the federal poverty level and you do not have current coverage under private or governmental insurance, and you have not used a VSP program in the past 12 months, please email your school nurse to ask about the VSP Eyes of Hope program. Eyes of Hope gives out free vouchers for students who meet certain guidelines to get free eye exams and glasses at a VSP Choice Network doctor. So stop struggling with blurry notes and unwanted injuries. Email your school nurse today. VSP Eyes of Hope. Life is better in focus. The dates for SpongeBob the Musical have been announced. The dates for the show will be May 10th, May 11th, and then again on May 17th and 18th. Tickets are on sale for $15. Speaking of tickets, you're running out of time to get your prom tickets for the discounted price of $20. Remember that after tomorrow, the price will be increased to $30, so make sure that you get your prom tickets now. An LBTV would like to congratulate the following students for being accepted into the Boys and Girls State programs. Abigail Glass, Marley Rath, Tristan Flannery, Jose Garcia, Zachary Johnson, and Henry Sawyer have all been accepted to attend the American Legion Boys and Girls State programs this summer. If you still have art to turn in for Art in the Past, today is the last day, so make sure that you get those projects into Ms. Smith before you leave school. There will be no after-school tutoring on Thursday, March 28th due to spring break starting, so if you're working on any makeup work or tests, be sure to have it completed before then. If you want to order a state champion soccer shirt, the school store will be open online until April 5th at 9 a.m. Go to the link on the Google Classroom and check out the hoodies and t-shirts that they have on sale. Support your four-time champion boys Bearcat soccer team by picking up some Bearcat apparel today. And finally, if you want to get out of fourth block tomorrow, make sure that you buy some tickets for the improv show. They should be coming around during this class to sell. Today will be the last day, since we do not have homeroom tomorrow. To purchase a ticket, you must be passing all of your classes. So go out on spring break in style. Don't hang out in fourth block. Check out the comedy show instead. And that's it for LBTV. We will be back after spring break. So for everyone here at LBTV, this is Camden Shortridge, rocking out.